Hi guys, welcome to this 11th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. This is our second project in this series. In this project, we're gonna design an automatic temperature control system. An automatic temperature control system has the ability to monitor and control temperature of a specified space without human intervention. This project uses a peak microcontroller to automatically control the temperature of a specified area. This area could be a small plant, a house, or any place or device that require a controlled temperature, like a chicken incubator, for example. The desired temperature settings is entered using a keypad. The temperature of the area is measured using the analog sensor. The microcontroller reads the temperature every 10 seconds and compares it with the desired value which was entered using a keypad. If this desired value is higher than the measured temperature, then the heater is switched on to warm the area. If on the other hand the measured value is higher than the desired value, then the fan is switched on to cool off the area. An LCD display shows the measured temperature continuously. This is part one of this project. In this part, we're gonna design the circuit diagram. So let us go to Proteus to design our circuit diagram. We're gonna use our favorite PIC 18F2620. It is a small 28-pin peak microcontroller. It's got 64 kilobytes of code memory, which is more than enough for this project. Okay. The next device we're gonna need is an LCD display. LCD. We're gonna use the 16 by 2 LCD display. The next device we're gonna need is the temperature sensor. In this project, we're gonna use the LM. 35, which is a precision centigrade temperature sensor directly calibrated in degrees Celsius as we have learned in the previous project the digital thermometer. The next device we're gonna need is a 3x4 keypad. Okay. The next device we're gonna need is a heater. In this demonstration we're gonna use the lamp to represent the heater. The next thing we're gonna need is the fan. We're gonna use the motor to represent the fan. Okay. The next device we're gonna need the relay to control the fan and the heater. Relay. Okay. We're gonna need two relays. The next device we're gonna need a diode 1N4004. As we have learned in the previous tutorial, interfacing and relay, this diode is used to suppress the back EMF generated by the coil of the relay. The next component, we're gonna need a push button to reset our circuit. Push button. We're gonna need two transistors to control our relays. We're gonna use the BC108. It's a low power silicon NPN transistor. Gonna need two of them. And lastly, we're gonna need a couple of resistors, 10K resistors. Let's use this one. Let us start by connecting our LCD to the peak microcontroller. We're gonna connect it to port B to make our circuit look neat as we don't want some wires crossing each other let us use some connectors instead of connecting a wire directly we can just connect a connector with the same label on each end point it's gonna mean exactly the same thing these are my data lines first one is gonna be connected to rb4 i'm gonna name it rb4 rb0 Instead of connecting the wire directly, we'll just connect it 
tuwe connector and the label of this connector should be the same on each end point in this case the data line D4 is connected to port B0 that's why I'm using the same label RB0 RB0 okay let us connect the rest of the connection the enable pin is gonna be connected to RB4 the RS pin is gonna be connected to RB5 I'm gonna connect my read write pin to ground the next thing we could do is to connect our temperature sensor to do this pin 1 should be connected to positive supply positive 5 volt pin 3 should be connected to ground I can use the same connection point as before so I can connect it to ground using the same connection point we're gonna use only one ground V out should be connected to any analog pin of the microcontroller in this project we're gonna use analog 0 in this case it's gonna be RA0 so let me use the same connector again Just name this connection point temp for temperature. Control C. Gonna name the same end point temp. Okay. That's all for this device. The next thing we can do is to connect our reset circuit. This is gonna be used to reset the microcontroller. I'm gonna name it reset. Gonna need a 10k resistor. Gonna need power. gonna be our reset circuit in normal operation the MCLR pin of the peak microcontroller should always receive 5 volt let me just name this reset reset but if I press the reset button Then the power is gonna go straight to ground and the pin of the MCLR is gonna go low. This is gonna reset the microcontroller. We're gonna use only one ground for all the component. That's why the RW pin of the LCD is gonna be connected to the ground via this connector. The ground of the temperature sensor is gonna be connected to ground via this terminal as well. The next component we're gonna connect is our keypad. We're gonna connect our keypad to port C. The first row is gonna be connected to RC0. Second one to RC1 and so on. We have learned how to use a keypad in the previous tutorial interfacing a keypad to pick microcontroller the first colon we're gonna connect it to RC3 the second one to RC4 
and the last column is going to be connected to RC6. The rows of our keypad will be used as output, but the columns will be used as input. And as with every input, we're going to need resistors to read the status of the input. So I'm going to need some resistors. They're all going to be connected to ground. I'm going to use the same connector. I'm going to use the same ground connector. Ground. And lastly, in this project, we need to connect the fan and the heater. You can use any free pin that is left of your microcontroller. Let us connect the heater to RA1 and the fan to RA2. Let me name this heater. It's going to be a 12 volt heater. So it's not going to be connected directly to the peak microcontroller. Because the peak microcontroller uses 5 volt, the heater is going to need 12 volt. So I'm going to switch it on using a relay. The relay will be controlled by the transistor. This will be to ground. I'm going to need a resistor to be connected to the base of the transistor. I'm going to name this terminal heater. On the other side, it's going to be named heater as well. The low voltage section of the relay will be connected to the collector of the transistor and 12 volt power supply. This diode is called a freewheeling diode. It's used to suppress the back EMF generated by the coil of the relay when it's switching on and off. As this back EMF could go and destroy the transistor. My heater will be connected to 12 volt and the normally open terminal of the relay and ground. So this terminal should be connected to ground. And lastly, let us connect our last component. It's going to be connected exactly at the heater. We're going to need a resistor on the base of the transistor. This terminal, I'm going to name it fan. The emitter of the transistor will be connected to ground as well. The relay will be connected to the transistor. I'm going to need another diode to protect the transistor. I'm going to need power 12 volt. This is my fan, it's a 12 volt fan, that's why we are using a relay to control it as well, it's going to be connected to power, 12 volt power supply and the ground via the common terminal of the relay. using the same ground and that's all guys this is all we have connected all our component in this case we're not gonna use an external oscillator we're gonna use a built-in oscillator of the peak microcontroller we've got a reset section to reset the microcontroller 
we got the LCD to continuously display the measured temperature and the temperature will be censored using the LM35 which is a precision temperature sensor. We're gonna have a keypad which is connected to port C. It's used to enter the required reference temperature. Then we've got our heater which is connected to port RA1 and we forgot the terminal for for the fan. The fan is connected. The fan is connected to RA2. That's all guys for this project. In the next project we're gonna write the code. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.